Hi, I spent the last 20 years teaching degree and diploma programs in New Zealand. I have taught students from 35 countries. In this short video, I'll explain why New Zealand is a great choice for international students. In addition to offering world-class education in some of the top universities in the world and many good schools, New Zealand offers many extras. The people are caring, friendly and helpful. There are many nationalities who live, work and study here. New Zealand society is a very welcoming society. New Zealand is a peaceful, beautiful country with very little pollution. The weather is mild with no extremes. New Zealand has a long coastline. There are many libraries, parks, beaches, walking tracks, ski fields and many sporting facilities. Most New Zealanders are health conscious and take part in a wide range of sports. The hospitals are world class. Tap water is safe to drink. The food is fresh. Very seldom will you see a fly or get bitten by a mosquito. There are no snakes or other poisonous animals, so you can walk in the bush without worrying about getting bitten. On the road, drivers are so courteous that it is rare to hear a car horn sound. Regardless of what job you do, you are treated the same. There is no class system and there is no corruption. New Zealand is a safe country with a relaxed lifestyle. All this makes New Zealand a great place to live, work and study. I chose to live here and have been living here for the past 23 years. Not only New Zealand is a great place to study, it's also a playground. You can take part in so many sports, not just cricket, rugby and netball. You can learn new sports and there's so much choice. With a population of just 4.8 million, New Zealanders compete at the highest levels in so many sports. This includes many winter sports and water sports. New Zealand has white sand beaches, black sand beaches, surf beaches with dangerous swells, as well as calm, safe beaches. New Zealand is also a tourist paradise with its beautiful scenery, geothermal mud pool, geysers, glaciers, glow worms, walking tracks, parks, caves, beaches, banana boats, sailing boats, whitewater rafting, whale and dolphin watching, skydiving, skywalks, jet boats, skiing, snowboarding, skate parks, heated swimming pools, zoos, botanic gardens, hot air ballooning, paragliding and of course bungee jumping. New Zealand is where bungee jumping originated. During my 20 years as head of department, lecturer and research manager, I have come across students who have enrolled in courses or institutions that did not meet their expectations. This could easily have been avoided if they did some research on the internet before they signed up. There are plenty of universities, schools, polytechnics and private training establishments right across New Zealand offering a wide range of courses and programs. My advice to you is to do your research on the internet, ask questions and find out as much as possible before you choose an institution and the program and courses that best meet your expectations. I am not an agent or an immigration advisor. I have been an academic for 20 years in New Zealand and I am providing this information through my YouTube channel to help you discover the many cool things you can do in New Zealand in addition to getting a world-class education and to encourage you to spend time looking at the various options that New Zealand offers and make sure that you choose the best institution and the program and courses that best meet your expectations. You may also check out the Education New Zealand website. Finally, a word of caution regarding New Zealand beaches. Many students come from parts of the world where there are no beaches and may not be aware of the dangers posed by rip currents. Although New Zealand does not have animals or plants that can kill people, most beaches on the west coast like Piha or Mirivai and Hotwater Beach all poor, poor, popular tourist destinations have dangerous rip currents. People get into trouble even when standing in knee-deep water. Some strong swimmers have drowned at these beaches. 
on the other hand most east coast beaches are generally safe i spend a lot of time on the water including miriwai and oriwa beaches if you come to new zealand or are already here contact me and i'll be happy for you to join me at oriwa beach i may even lend you my sub i may also teach you to swim if you do not know how to swim if you are interested in my academic career please look up my linkedin profile just search for kadiravelu ganeshan in google or linkedin you can also search for kadiravelu ganeshan on google scholar and research gate you can also contact me via the comment section under this youtube video or use my twitter handle at ganeshan thanks for watching please let me know if i can help you in any way please subscribe and hit the bell button so you get notified of new videos and updates thank you